I don't know if anyone else is feeling that way, but there are times in the day where I feel like a sensation in the pit of my stomach, like something is going to happen. A residual anxiety that things are not going to be okay. When you get that kind of a feeling, when you get that kind of a sensation, you usually find something to attach it to. Right? to so you make, like, it's either, you know, the political climate is not good, or your job is not working well, or your husband is bothering you, or your kids are messing up, or school is not good, or there's a pandemic, or there's fires. You find something to just guarantee that that sensation that you're feeling is valid. And most of the time, this is how your mind controls you. So I was just doing a video for uh, Instagram and I was talking about how I felt just a sense of uselessness 15 years ago, like I'm not amounting to anything always angry, always unhappy. And if I look back, really everything in my life was perfect then. There was nothing to complain about. So then, what was the reason for this unhappiness? See, the mind continuously looks for things to hold you to get your attention. It needs to know that it possesses you totally. And when you find something funny, when you actually find humor in something, for one second, all those worries, the stress of living, the stress of finding a boyfriend, the stress of having a baby, the stress of bringing up those babies, all of that drops for just a minute. And, and you're just laughing. When you're happy, when you're happy, you just realize that things are going, they're not bad at all. They're not bad at all. And I think we just take our life too seriously. We just take everything too seriously. And Sri Sri always used to say that life is one big joke. If you can learn to just laugh at your situation, just bring that smile and just say, ah, this is crazy. How much worse can it get? You know, how much worse can it get? And then you just, you just let that laughter come into you. That act of laughing itself, it makes certain changes in your body. Now look at Aarti, such a sweet smile on her face. I can assure you she's feeling great. I can assure you she's feeling great because you cannot smile, you cannot smile and say, oh, I hate my life, you know, my life sucks, <laughs> you know, I'm so useless. <laughs> you can't do that. You just can't. If you're laughing, if you're smiling, it's impossible at that moment to think of something that brings you down, that makes you feel less of yourself, that makes you feel miserable. And there's always, it's, it is, this is how the conditioned mind, always through the day your mind is trying to get you back. But see, this is happening. But see, that is happening. But you're still fat. In spite of doing all this, you're still fat. Can you smile and can you laugh at it? Can you say, so what? And just laugh. Love. I mean, honestly, when I look at other people, I don't think that, you know, if I see a smile on their face, that's all I see. You don't see anything else. You just see that, that beautiful joy coming out. Because, you know, at our core, who we really are, what we really long for, is just that peace, that joy, that happiness. 
that is who you really are. You know, that's, you know, remember I told you the story about the spider, about being up in the rafters in that, in that barn where it was really peaceful and really happy. And then it decided to come down and it came down and there was this little string holding it up to the rafters. Right? And it came down and it saw all these bright lights and it saw all these barn animals and it was going here and it was going there and it was so happy to see that. And then it decided to cut that chain. And once it cut that connection, there was this unhappiness that came over it. Because what brought it continuously back to that happiness was the memory of the original self being always happy, always calm. And what laughter does is that for a second, for a moment, it's an aha moment. It's like it lets you drop all your worries and all your cares and it makes you realize that, you know, it's a joke. It's a joke. One day this is serious, one day that is serious, one day this is happening, one day that is happening. Nothing stays forever. Nothing stays forever. Before you know it, you know, you're alive, you're, you're, you're middle-aged and you're gone. You know? And that's... Are you able to see me? There's something that's happened here. No, no, it's okay. Okay. Keep going, keep going. All right. keep before you realize you're old, you're old. And she, she always said that if life gets too busy, if life things get too difficult, then all you need to do is to put your pain into your back pocket, take a pillow and go to sleep. That's all. To find joy and humor in everything that you do, several times a day breaks a little chain within you. There's some of us that automatically, automatically we are given to lightheartedness. We're given to humor. That is our very nature. That is who we are. You know, we crack jokes. We, 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 that's how we've trained ourselves. There are others who take life too seriously. Too serious. It's all about what's going on. Oh my God, my, my job is not going well at all. My job is not going well at all. My boss is terrible. And then they believe that what they are looking at, what they are viewing and what they are facing is worse than anything anybody could ever face. And let me tell you that from time immemorial, we have all been in the same, in the same, same place, facing the same things. If you slipped on a banana peel and you fell to the ground, what would your first reaction be? Hmm? Would you feel just depressed and miserable that you fell and you hurt yourself? Or can you find it in yourself to just laugh? The thing is, we constantly are searching for things that make us miserable, that validate our feeling of misery. And if you actually removed the paradigm of the mind completely, that feeling that you get, that feeling of something going wrong, would just be a sensation in your body, nothing else. Just a sensation in your body. And what's in a sensation? It doesn't matter. Nothing really matters. I keep saying happiness is your birthright. Happiness is your birthright. But that does not mean that happiness that I refer to is not looking for the comedy or looking for the joy or looking for the funny side of things. That happiness that we speak of is a stillness. And from that bed of stillness, in that bed of stillness, Nothing is too bad and nothing is too good. And that's how we want you to be. We want you to be in a state of complete equanimity. Find it in yourself.
to look for the funny things in life. Whether it's a funny joke or a comedy serial. You know, watching something light-hearted makes you realize that if you can be smiling and light-hearted and watching something just peaceful going on for 30 minutes on a screen. I mean, after all, your life is nothing but an extension of that. All those dramas that are going on on the screen do go on in your life. Can you not find it in yourself to see the humor in everything? All this craziness that we're seeing outside of us instead of making us depressed. Can you not find it within you to do just make people's life a little bit better by not referring to that darkness but referring instead to something to make them laugh? And someone sent a joke, my cousin sent a joke this morning and I've been thinking about it several times today and it says, you know, the woman is always right. Hmm? And the man says, I agree with her. So, is the man right or wrong? <laughs> so, it's like my cousin um, posts something funny on, on Facebook every day. And I actually, when I scroll through my, my, I look for his joke. Because it's something that's always going to bring a smile on my face. Always. Something crazy, something silly. And it's wonderful. It's wonderful. Recently, we visited a friend, uh, visited my uh, sister-in-law, and a, somebody was visit, uh, came over, dropped in, and his pastime is to tell jokes. And we spent the entire evening uh, just listening to his jokes, and it was so wonderful because I know a lot of the jokes that he cracked. I just can never remember them at the right time. Yeah? Are you like that too? Yeah. These jokes we never see. Because we don't dwell on it. We don't dwell on the funny side of things. It's really wonderful to share philosophy and to share all these wonderful um, sayings. That's all great. But we have to make each other laugh. We have to make each other joyful. All the time. To find the humor in anything. When your food br uh, burns on the stove, find it in yourself to burst into laughter and then make something else. Right? What you do when the food burner, like, oh my God, this always happens to me. This is the story of my life. What about is going to happen? Every time I try to cook something, it's always the same story. See, we're always doing this to ourselves. We're not allowing ourselves to see the humor. There are humor in, in small things that can make you laugh. You know? And a nice way really is to be with kids. I think children have not yet been socialized, right? So they have that innate sense of humor to laugh at anything. I mean, a baby literally laughs when you make funny noises. You're looking for an opportunity to bring humor into their lives. When people are depressed, you know, one thing that they uh, recommend is that you laugh artificially. There, there may be no desire. You may be feeling, oh my God, this world is horrible. Life is just miserable. And, and, but if you just go into a mirror and you start laughing, just the sound of you laughing will sound so silly that you will actually feel like laughing a little bit more. Have you heard of those laughing groups in, in India? They're very popular. I mean, in every street corner, you have laughing groups where somebody starts laughing and then they laugh so ridiculously that everybody else starts laughing. And then for 10 minutes, everyone is laughing and they don't know why they're laughing. But it's, it's healing, you know. It's healing. Something that laughter does to you that makes life just fantastic. Life, when you're in that moment, when you're in that moment, feeling that laughter, it's all so light-hearted. And you have to take your life in a very light-hearted way. Everything happens, some things come, some things go. Find it, find it in yourself to see the humor, to find, don't make fun of each other. That I don't like. Alright? No making, making somebody the butt of your jokes. That's not a good idea. Just find humor in 
in just things around you, not in people. Not in people. And I feel like nowadays all the forwards are all uh, political jokes. They sometimes can be offensive also. You know, it's humor in a way, but some of it is, you know, you never know who, who is, uh, belongs to which side of the um, uh, sort of uh, political line, right? So political jokes are fine, but I think just staying away from all that and just just releasing a little of your tension in laughter is nice. It's difficult to do, I agree, that we're going through this where we're all alone a lot of the time. It's much nicer when there's a group of people, it's easier to laugh. There are many more opportunities to laugh. And it is a difficult time, so... This is like an exercise. It's like sadhana. It's like your meditation. You have to find an opportunity in your day to make life lighthearted. Yeah? Om oh, Namah